Adding Effects and Graphics, Section 3. Applying Video Effects. Okay, so we've worked on our basic edit. We've added some transitions. Now I want to add some effects to our clips here. So the first thing I want to show you are the basic transform properties of your footage. So if I take my Select tool, click on a clip here. And in Effect Controls, we see we have things like position, scale, rotation, opacity, etc. that we can work on and change. So for example, if I take position and drag it to the left, drag it to the right, we're changing the position of the clip in the frame. And if I hold shift, it'll move 10 times faster. There we go. Same with the Y axis, down, up. There we are. We can also rotate it and then scale it up. Cool. So, now let's just say I like that. It's a little extreme and crazy, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll keep it like this. So let's watch. All right. Now I want to do that here, here, and let's say here. Now I could go and remember everything I did here, click on this clip, and drag all the same attributes out. But one way I can do that Right click, copy, go to my next clip, right click, paste attributes. And then you'll get this dialog box asking you what attributes you'd like to paste. So we have motion, opacity, time remapping. So basically everything that's been done will be applied to the next clip. Now, if you've done something you don't want it applied, you can deselect it like this. Now we did not change the opacity or time remapping. So I'll deselect those just to show you, but it won't change anything. We'll just apply the motion tributes, okay? Audio tributes, we did an effect, so that's fine to stay like that. Click OK, and voila, we have this clip and this clip running the same. All right, so let's undo that. Now, we can further explore this by changing these over time in the same frame. We'll look at that when we look at keyframes in an upcoming video. But for now, we'll just do static changes like this. So I haven't done that because I want to show you now actual video effects you can apply to your clip. So let's make our timeline a little bigger. And if we go to the project panel here, we have effects. So click on effects. Just scale this up. So we have some folders here. Now remember, this looks like the place, and it is, where we got our video transitions earlier. So it's in the same spot. The effects contain the video and audio effects, as well as the audio and video transitions. So we have some color correction presets here, but the main video effects are found here. And then they're subfoldered by category. Adjustments, color correction, image control, keying, transform, video, all kinds of different ones. So let's go to image control black and white. Now let's say I want to make this black and white. We have a colored clip here. There's a couple ways I can do this. I can take this effect, click and drag, release, and there we go. Or if I have the clip selected like this, I can simply double click and the effect is now applied. Cool. Now, I'm deciding now, I like that, so I want the rest of these in black and white. So what do I do? Well, click, drag, click and drag, and so on. That works. Okay. But there is a quicker way to do that. And I want you to notice, before I forget, this little box here, FX, is in purple. That indicates that an effect has been applied to the clip, where this one is not colored, it's still in gray, so no effect has been applied to this clip yet. But we're gonna do that. So I can take all these clips here, lasso them like so with my select tool, find the effect I'd like to apply, in this case black and white, double click, and there we go. All in black and white. Now I'm gonna undo that and show you one more way to apply an effect 
to multiple clips. I take this, right click copy, select all these, right click. Now we're back into paste attributes. So it has the video attributes before that we had, the transform properties, motion, opacity, and time remapping. These are unchecked because I unchecked them last time, but I'll check them back because it's the default. And notice now we have an effects check mark. So if I uncheck that, only the transform properties would be applied and not the black and white. But in this case, I want everything. Since nothing was changed here, it's fine. I'll keep this checked, effects, black and white. Click OK. And there we are. Now, I knew this was here, black and white, but say I didn't. I'm looking for something that I can make things in black and white. So I can use the search bar here. Type black. And there we go. Now this is what's known as a static effect, meaning it's applied, but the properties can't be changed. So it's black and white and nothing else. There are several other effects in the folders here where you can adjust the properties, and we'll be looking at that after.